scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. One, Psalm 133, Behold how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. It says it's like the oil that comes from Aaron's head down to his beard, his skirt, and so on and so forth. He said, there the Lord hath commanded the blessing. Praise the Lord. And by the grace of God, I submit to you that all five of these possibilities are structurally resident within this place. It is true. And tonight, among the many things, we choose number three, the power of God. We intend to see God move as a mighty, mighty God. Psalm 126. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 126. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, not if, when, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, he says we were like them that dream verse 2 then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with singing and they said they among the hidden there is a kind of testimony that God will give you you will not be the one to testify it says the hidden said the Lord they are hedonistic yet they acknowledge the source of that miracle that although we do not believe in the God of heaven, but this one cannot be by a man. The Lord hath done great things for them. Next verse. The Lord hath done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Next verse. Turn again our captivity. It's amazing. The Bible says, when the Lord turned, keep that scripture there. When the Lord turned again the captivity of where? It is not unusual to have captivity even though you are Zion. It didn't say the captivity of unbelievers. The captivity, Zion. It says, turn again our captivity, O Lord, like the streams of the Negev or the south. Just leave it at verse 4. Turn again our captivity. Turn away the situation in our family that has brought reproach to the name of the Lord. Turn again the, the, the situation that makes it look as if Jesus is not Lord. Let me tell you this. Miracles are messages. I really believe in miracles. Miracles are messages. And I've explained it here, but for tonight, I will still do it again. Um, please come, Binga. Now, look up, please. This is, this is um, Sean, you stand here. Come. Now watch this. The Bible lets us know that man was created to be the zenith of God's creation. Are we together? The apex of his creativity was demonstrated in the making of man. And so the psalmist would say, What is man that thou art mindful of? Nor the son of man that thou visitest him. Are we together? And he said this man, this is man now above every creation the cattle the fish and every other thing he made man the head of his creation 
now that means that every other thing that happens on earth is with respect to man are we together the activities and the program of god on earth is with respect to man the oppression of satan is also with respect to man that means that if men suddenly die if the 7.2 billion people on earth suddenly fall asleep and die satan and demons will have absolutely nothing to do praise the lord kill all the men in the world leave the banks open leave the markets open leave all the safes open everything is only useful because of this entity called man are we together without man there is no value to anything leave all the real estate and kill man there will be no value again leave all the fish in the sea and all the business moguls will go down when there is no man everything has value on earth because of man understand my teaching are we together now it is the technology of satan to be interested in whatever god is interested in whether or not he understands why the moment he finds god's attention focus on a person or a thing he will want to come and find out why are we together now this is man this is god this is satan and all of his cohorts now watch this please man is also like a painter's um what they call it the canvas of a painter everything that happens to a man is a letter from god to man or through man to creation that includes satan are we together and it's also a letter from satan through man to god so when this man's family goes through all kinds of oppression barrenness tragedies and all sorts of demonic things it's not about barrenness listen it's not about poverty satan is not interested in those things he is using them like a painter's brush to write a letter and the letter is saying if you claim god is faithful then let me use his highest creation to discredit him are we together now so creation can look at man and read the letter satan wrote to god through man and then you will find people in that family saying look if god is alive where is he that we are going through these kinds of things the objective of the oppression is now being achieved are we together and then at miracle services like this god replies watch this so a situation this guy has been in bondage for 10 years that's a letter that was written from satan through all his family members and say creation bear witness if it is true that he is good and there is no evil in him then what is this looking for in his creation it's not about the challenge it's about the statement and the message on it are we together so if in one minute like it will soon happen an oppression that has lingered for decades just moves in one moment god like julius berger just replies and does a spectacular thing and then signs on it signed the king of kings and the lord of lords the lord of the universe are we together now yes so every challenge that you have you must discern the message there it's not about the unique challenge it doesn't matter whether it comes as poverty it doesn't matter whether it comes as delay it doesn't matter whether it comes as whatever kind of retrogression see it as a parcel send through you to god i am mocking the highest of your creation as an attempt to discredit your supposed faithfulness and then god continues to seek for men with whom he can reply satan back and when he finds a man and he finds a platform he allows for meetings like this and then he starts writing ha! Allah will turn your life around. Yeah.
It is true that for five years you didn't get a job. Now, even if you get a job now, you will still suffer because for that five years, many things you are probably in debt and many other things have gone down. So you don't just need a job. You need God to do something in your life and in and through that job. When you get a job with a triple promotion, now it's not about the promotion. If you just clap for the promotion, you did not discern the miracle. It's a message. I am a restorer of time. Are you getting it now? You've heard me say humorously that when a woman who has been pregnant for who has been barren for say eight, nine, ten years. Even if that woman puts to bed and intends as a couple to have four or five children, they will have to add an extra 10 or 15 years to their life to space the children well. But when God gives that woman triplets, that is nine years of three, three years spacing in nine months. That's a letter from God to creation. I'm still on the throne regardless i am still on the throne so many times god will allow satan to just exhaust his pride on earth and when he is done god will say are you done now let me show you that there is no such thing as yesterday and tomorrow in my economy i'm not just motivating you that he said when the lord turn again the captivity of zion the captivity of Zion. I saw you yesterday. You were a beggar. But I see you tomorrow. You have experience. There are two ways to climb a tower. You use the ladder or you use a lift. You will arrive. The problem is you may die before you get to one place. You will climb and by the third or fourth floor you are there. But there is a technology hidden somewhere where you can stand and you are moving by the energy of that lift and within a minute you are there and with honor you can step out they were like them that dream lord i i thought i would have been grateful if you did it slowly the fact that you are doing it but that you chose to move this far that when i started this year my collective goal was to reach here and in one month you gave me five years goal this is the god of heaven if god answers you like a man why will you praise him god will never do things the way men do them no listen i am a man and with all humility it is within my power to be able to use influence or resources to just upgrade someone's life if God upgrades you the same way I'm doing it then it means we are colleagues the jealousy of God makes him to be spectacular there is a signature that only his hand can sign so that you are that's why he told Moses say listen 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 Moses leave all of this don't mix me in the many gods in Egypt I am that I am and I will have to do something that distinguishes me. He does it so that no man will ever claim credit for it. There are things that is difficult to say God did it. You just say God did it because um, you don't want to look like a stupid person. You are in the midst of intelligent people and the obvious is to say God did it. But there are really things that everybody knows that this one is God's doing. This is what God wants to do tonight. If all you get is a job, men can do that. You don't have to be a Christian to get jobs. You just need to understand the laws of life. But that there is something that God can do. Show me a man that restores time. Show me a man that restores time. When time is gone, it's gone. No, but not in God's economy. Time is like a chess. He can take it forward and backward. Listen, 
you see ba i tell you why god does not hurry for many years he gives men speed but god does not hurry and you have to be god to understand why he does not hurry it does not make sense to hurry when you have this kind of authority you only hurry because of something that can overpower you are we together now if i have a bank and i'm hurrying up and you say apostle hurry up five o'clock they will lock the bank i said don't worry so he said see i know i saw the face of that man he will lock the bank it's my bank so the time was only supposed to be for you when any time i come the bank opens listen listen very carefully so when you say god show up otherwise men with god say it doesn't make any difference i've checked for the reasons why i should hurry and i didn't find it there is nothing that can put me under pressure to hurry i am god ah. he comes in his majesty and sometimes he allows the pride of men to just continue while they speak god just comes and says what did men say and they will say that there is no rising in this family that the first person built a house at 45 and god says if i use the man who is 30 years old they would think he went to school let me use the mama that does not see i would do something with her and she would dedicate her house in two months this is god for you god is not interested in any miracle that will not allow the message of his glory to be written on it there are times that when you bring challenges to god is an insult so he allows it to go deep enough to be worth his power you don't bring to him what men can solve you will confuse who solved it because while you were speaking to him you spoke to men too so that you don't mix the answer and just say ah. every time god wants to arise even the sorcerers will not see that day he will do something that makes everyone give up and then he will now say clear the way for me ah. This is God for you. Listen. My prayer is that after this meeting, eh, listen, you not only will receive miracles, but you begin to covet your life being a sign and a wonder. Don't just be a recipient of God's benevolence, but that you are like a canvas. When there are some paintings, when you see artists draw, you just ask, what was in the mind of this? Let God reveal to you what his mind can do. I don't like ordinary things in my life. I like things in my life that come with a statement. This is God. And someone will look at you and not even know how to smile again. He says, this thing, eh? it has to be God. He will just go back and say, Lord, I'm sorry for being foolish. You see, he has repented without your sermon. Your life was a sermon. They limited God in the wilderness. Listen, let me tell you this. Don't get used to pain don't get used to pain there is an ability from heaven that can crush the gates of darkness i know we are human beings and many times when things become increasingly uncomfortable we build a theology around them to say it should continue but this night roll away the stone and let the god of heaven come in and show you that with men it is impossible but with god all things all things are possible Every time I pray for the miracle service, I don't pray for too many things. I don't pray, God, heal the sick, cast out devils. No, that's not my prayer. Lord, let there be something. Sign a signature upon someone's life, upon someone's family. You know, I was spending a little time with my family in the afternoon. And while we're talking about this, my sister was speaking and said that, um, that it looks like this miracle service, God is visiting families, not just individuals. He just wants to move past individuals. Remember, I told you, you are not free when your family is not free. Let me tell you sincerely. He said, as for me and my house. If the, jo the brothers of Joseph all had dreams, nobody would kill anybody. It was because only one over how many had dreams. And the rest said, you are joking. You saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bow. 
but when everybody rises by the finger of God then it is a testimony I don't know who has said what about your life and about your family but give God a few minutes tonight to answer them God has an answer my brothers and my sisters the God we serve is not man don't get used to it God is not a president of a ministry God is not the CEO of a bank God is not the CMD of a hospital God is not a monarch on earth waiting to die for someone no he sits in the circles of the heaven by himself and manipulate all things according to the counsel of his will you will do yourself harm tonight to sit down believing it will happen just as before come with your vessels increased and enlarged lord i know you are stepping in i know you are changing my life it's june but people have laughed at me where is the extraordinary fruitfulness i'm still begging i don't even have two hundred and fifty thousand to pay rent my prayer life has gone down ha this god of heaven my brothers and my sisters it doesn't take time when god opens his mouth from heaven anything plus anything plus God is the answer he says should be your weakness plus God is whatever answer he says to be your limitation plus God is whatever answer he will be I continue to pray and I say Lord let this ministry remain not just a place of signs and wonders but a sign and a wonder itself If you are looking for a salmon and you don't have data, just think about koinonia. And there is salmon. Is you are you are seeing a marvelous God. Listen, by the grace of God, within the time God has given us, we will we will disprove the pride of men in this world. All of those mundane rules that have been put by the arrogance of men. That they claim even God should honor. God has sent us to disprove them. That whoever told you that you have to build a house from salary. Whoever told you you have to feed your children from pension. Whoever told you that it will take 20 years to know God. Whoever told you that your ministry must increase 10 members per week. There is a generation that will answer the arrogance of men. Please don't get used to the natural course of things. There is an advantage. God programmed in the journey of the believer what I call systems of advantage. His mercy is a system of advantage. His favor is a system of advantage. It cannot happen to you the way it happens to men. Don't get used to it. I don't expect my life to be ordinary. I expect something spectacular every day like a soup opera there is an episode of signs and wonders listen that people can look at your life and say let's watch God what God will do this week because there has to be a message it's impossible for Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday and there is no message no you are not a sign and a wonder you have what it takes to do signs and wonders but God wants you to be the sign yourself. To be like that star that shines in the east. That when men look at you, they say, what manner of God is this? Men whom the earth was not worthy of. See, there is nothing the devil can do about this. No. There is a kind of speed that God can bring to your life regardless of who loves you or who does not love you it doesn't play any role god just sits upon you with his jealousy and decides to make a statement let me tell you fearful is the man that god decides to use as a canvas to write a statement you will look for their downfall wasting your time they will just continue to rise held by the jealousy of god himself Are we together now? Please sit down. God can choose to love Jacob. God can choose to honor Jabez. God can choose 
to lift Rahab. God can choose to turn the story of Ruth around. God can choose to cause Abraham to be the father of nations. He is God. Who should he consult with? Where is the parliament that must accredit him? Listen. We live in a proud world where men sit down and make it look like I am the reason for your lifting. If you ignore me, you will die. And while it is true that men are pipes, we have 7.2 billion of them. That's enough variety for God to choose. No single man can get up in arrogance and pocket your destiny. No. I'm shaking off fear and unbelief from you so that when we begin to minister you don't just stand some of you may have written some things in your prayer request and left others because you have convinced yourself that God cannot go that far my brothers and sisters what does God need to do in your life again for you to believe that he is mighty hallelujah I told the Lord something. I said, Lord, let my life be a sign and a wonder. A testament of what you can do with a man that loves you. Much more than celebrating a man like you did. It is, it is the celebration of God and the possibilities that he can birth on earth. That my life will not limit God. No way. I like the things men say cannot be done. If it is God that says it cannot be done, I will not even try it because it's a waste of time. But if it's man that says it cannot be done, I say, God, what do you say? Ah. When Jesus came, he said, you say this in your law, but this is what I say. You say this in your law, but this is what I say. Like he's speaking to someone. They said this in your family, but this is what I say. He can veto anything. And turn a man's life around hallelujah someone gave me a very humorous testimony I think it was yesterday they had been trying to pursue something that has to do with the dad and um, uh, you know I think the dad is, is, is in the force or something and they are just deprived that man for five years I think if I'm if I'm not mistaken no salary no benefits because some ammunitions were missing and they traced to to him imagine a breadwinner of a family for about five years things went down and you know if, if he wins the case they will have to restore everything plus damages are we together and they kept manipulating manipulating and i think just yesterday i was told that was it yesterday or i think this week the verdict came out and came out in the father's favor i said you should start dancing in your household because whether the devil likes it or not Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Things never get missing. They only leave you. They are still on earth. Everything that leaves a man does not go out of the earth realm. It is only within a distance that is beyond your reach. There is a force from heaven that sustains an ability to call the things that be not and draw them. There is a force of attraction. I prophesied as I was commanded. It says, and the bones, they were all there. Just because you cannot see them does not mean they are not there. Everything you are looking for is looking for you too. And there is a force that can connect you to them. Please listen, I'm not just motivating you. The things that we have heard, the things we have seen, the things that our hands have handled. That who is he that saith a thing and it comes to pass? That God did not vet it and approve it. Let God be true. And let every man, 
including your situation, be a liar. Listen to me. Please hear me. A miracle service is not just the time to pray for the sick. Not everybody is sick. You see the level of high blood pressure disturbing young people now? You see people talking like fools on the road. Someone in early 20s talking to himself, moving around. This our road from here to Abuja, almost every day someone is dying. Nobody leaves his house to die. Worry. Pastors collapse on stage. I've told you that there is a technology that sends Israel to Egypt. It's called hunger. Every time there is hunger, Israel must go to Egypt to find bread. Genesis 42. Please give it to us. Let's just read it. I apologize. The projection is not very clear, but just see that scripture. Now, everyone read. If you can see it, we're reading one and two. Ready? Read. Now, when Jacob saw that there was what? Corn. Where? In Egypt. Jacob said unto his sons, Why do ye look upon one another? Verse 2. And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. This is a prophet. But lack of corn was making him mortgage his children. Go to Egypt. I'm a prophet, but we're about to die. And I hear that wherever there is corn, that's where people go to. Look, let's not lie to ourselves. Wherever there is corn, that is where people go to, including a prophet. He had, because the Bible says the increase of the earth is for all. And that even the king is fed from it. When there is corn in Egypt, believers will have to go down there. We need time to serve the Lord. We need time to bear the revival that he wants to bring. We need time to pursue the purposes of the kingdom. But that time cannot be given to you when you spend your life looking for corn in Egypt. It's a cost to go down to Egypt. But if that is the only place that has corn, then you will have to go down to eat. And then there arose another Pharaoh that knew not Joseph. And the people of God got into servitude and slavery. Don't mind the ignorant people who say it doesn't matter. You just serve God like that. According as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. Everyone say after me, life, life. godliness. Life, life. godliness. There are things that pertain unto godliness. Your character, your work with God, your prayer life, your spiritual development. Those are things that pertain unto godliness. But there are things that pertain unto life. Your children's school fees, your accommodation, the well-being. That any man who is unable to cater for his family, according to scripture, has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. So when the devil wants to discourage you as a man of God, you're preparing a sermon and here comes your son with a PTA letter. And your eyes, the letter is usually typed, except where the money will be. They write it with biro and the price is doubled. You stand there wanting to kill your son. Why has the school fees been doubled? And the child said, they just gave me to give you. And you look at it. Your salary is not increased. Nothing else is increased, but the bills are rising. The devil wants to send you to Egypt. A time will come what, what you would not do yesterday, you will now do tomorrow on the strength of the pain. Hunger can take men to Egypt. Hallelujah. A dear man of God called me, I think uh, two weeks or so. I don't know him so much. And from one of these nations and he called me and was lamenting he said apostle pray for me our ministry is under serious financial attack he said right now honestly the way things are we may not even be able to hold our service because the bills you know things are going down economically and the givings of the people also seem to have followed and you know i got angry in my spirit i said this is the kind of news satan wants because you see very soon the devil will bring one rich man who will pocket that ministry 
because of one million or one five or ten million or whatever it is that he gives you will lose your voice lose your relevance lose your integrity on the platter of hunger was it not hunger that made Esau to sell his birthright only an irresponsible ministry will not address the issue of hunger that is going on there are many things to address but hunger should be one of them believers are hungry they need a technology that is higher than what has been proposed let me tell you there is a part which no fowl knoweth the whelps of the lion has not gotten there there are dimensions reserved for these times when god will bring out as a display of his intelligence do you not know that the strategy of saving 20% was God's intelligence? It's not just an economic strategy. There is always a reservoir in God's intelligence. For times when people cry, when the saints cry, God will say, show them that the wisdom of God is inexhaustible. Health care is one of the devourers in our world today. Do you know how much it takes to treat people? Once your son is sick, you are crying already because you know. How much does it take? We have so many doctors here. One of our doctors came and I asked him to check a woman and when he brought the list for the x-ray, I said, I will buy that machine. No. I said, I said, I, 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 and open an x-ray, an x-ray place. I mean, how much? Not the whole body. I don't know what part of the body it was. But when I saw the bills, I said for x-ray. And almost every day, someone has to go there. If you are collecting 50,000 naira and you use 30,000 for x-ray, there is no reason why that child will give you joy. Are we together? Anything that child does will annoy you. And then help that child, let him not take first or second or third. You will almost kill the child. There are real issues that we cannot laugh at. Real issues. And this night, God is determined to rise up and not only step in, but turn things around. John chapter 10 and verse 10. Thank you. John chapter 10 and verse 10, please. It says, the thief cometh not. There is a name Satan is called. And here he is called the thief. Are we together? If someone knocks your gate and you say, who is that? He said, the thief. You don't need to ask him what tribe, what gender. You will call the police immediately and say, there is a thief. There is an armed robber in front of my house. And Jesus is preaching here. And he says, the thief cometh not. That means you will never see him around. But for to steal and to kill and to destroy. So everywhere you see stealing, killing and destruction. Is a signature, the thief, Satan. He comes into a joyful family. Are we together? Happy husband, come my dear. Happy wife. When the thief comes in between them, he must scatter everything. One flimsy excuse or the other. He will come in between business partners and shred them. When Satan passes a place, you know this is him. He will leave his signature, stealing killing destruction we would be in trouble if jesus stopped there but he says i am come mm. he didn't say i have come i am has come to bring life and that you have that life more abundantly lavishly i am come that he may have life I have come that he may have solutions. I have come to show you that there is a way out of this. I am come to show you that there are possibilities. Are we together now? Now the last thing I want to say before we begin to pray. I will continue to teach this because repetition is the key to persuasion. The Bible says according as his divine power. Please give it to us. That's second, first, um, second Peter chapter 1 from verse 2 please. Grace and peace, verse 2, be multiplied unto you at, through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Verse 3. It says, according as his divine power hath given us. So what gives us in this kingdom? 
his divine power never forget this it is not faith faith is a channel that allows his divine power to pass the agency the force that is responsible for connecting us with spiritual possibilities is his divine power for many years there has been an argument about the workings of faith and the anointing there is no argument there are we together faith is the pipe that the power of god flows to to carry supernatural solutions to you if there is no faith there is no channel of the power from the throne room to your situation it will not be possible you don't choose faith or the power of God. That's not a theology taught in the Bible. He never taught any of them in isolation. His divine power. Every request on your list will be solved by his divine power. Now let me teach you this. I've taught you again. What is on you is what controls the results around you. Please never forget this. The results around you do not fabricate themselves. The results around you are mirrors. They are a reflection of the kind, the level, the dimension of the grace that is upon you. So I can know the grace on you by looking at the possibilities in your life. I can know what grace has come upon you by looking at what changes. It is impossible to increase in grace and your possibilities remain the same. No. The testimonies that recycle around your life are an attest. They, are, they attest to the fact that this is the level and the extent of grace. Hear me. Every door can open. It just depends on the grace asking it to open. Everybody is a giver. It depends on the grace that asks them to give. Someone can refuse to bless you and yet carry a millionaire and meet someone else and say give me the privilege of blessing you nobody's really stingy the problem is that these possibilities don't happen in the earth dimension they are realities that are finished in the realm of the heavens and only executed the earth is a realm of execution the same way your body is The anointing and the grace on your life is what controls the possibilities around you. Please listen to me. His divine power. There are doors that have refused to open. The doors are not stubborn. The doors are only obedient to the last instruction. And since the anointing speaking to it is not that high, the door will remain obedient to the last instruction. The day a higher authority speaks, that door will open, I assure you. Please don't generalize challenges. Challenges are only relative to the grace that confronts them. This is a message of hope for you to hear. Challenges are only relative to the grace that confronts them. Even the king could not solve the hunger problem of Samaria. Here comes the prophet. He did not come to solve the problem. He said, ah, okay, I see that there is a situation. Everyone was hungry except the king and the prophet. He said, by this time tomorrow. Then a foolish man said, even if God will open the window of heaven, how will these things be? And he says, you will see it, but you will not partake of it. I believe in the power of God. I've seen what the power of God can do. Stop wasting your time trying to change things physically. Creation has never been disobedient. Creation is the most obedient entity you can find. The money you are looking for is not disobedient. There is an unction that calls it. If it's not there, it is authorized to leave you. Creation is obedient. When Noah was ready to open the ark, when he opened the ark, there was a grace that came on every animal by themselves. The Bible never said Noah went to the wilderness to chase them animals with no higher intelligence they found their way to the ark if animals can find their way to the ark why should your destiny helper find it difficult to find you why should breakthrough find it difficult to noah just stood there and allowed the grace to walk you rest only when the grace walks let me tell you life is hard when you are walking on your own in this kingdom we don't walk with our hands 
Our hands only help us to receive the grace. When it comes, you enter your Sabbath. Are you getting what I'm saying now? The power of God is the spiritual mechanism responsible. The signs and wonders that will happen in this place right now, the healings and the miracles and the breakthroughs, they will happen according as his divine power. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, it says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. The information is not that he was anointed. Look at the extent to which he was anointed. With the Holy Ghost and with power, he says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. There are people inside, there are people outside, there are people standing in such sacrifice waiting for God. It will be very wicked to share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and tell everybody bye-bye. Return back with your challenge. No, I want you to believe God tonight and insist Lord, whatever will come upon me must come upon me. Whatever must change must change. Whatever must grow must grow. Whatever must die must die. When there is no expectation, it becomes wrong for God to visit you. Because one of the things that he gave men, seven benefits given to man at creation, one of it is the right to choose. The will that God gave man is a fundamental right. It's not for Christians. Once you are a man, you were given the right to choose. Salvation, even at the detriment of your going to hell, was left for your choice. God will never, never, never violate your right to choose. I said before you life and death. I said before you blessing and cursing. I can only advise you, choose life. I said before you prosperity and poverty. I said before you success and failure. I said before you spiritual growth. And, and a low level of spirituality is up to you to choose. I choose life oh, and everything that comes with it. I choose speed. I choose increase. I choose honor. I choose dignity. I choose open doors. I choose open heavens. It's a choice. And if you're a family man here, as for you and your house, you can't choose for the whole world, but you can choose for your house. That the favor of God can rest upon your life tonight. And that within the next one month, things will shift in your life in a way and a manner that will surprise you. If you do not believe these things exist, you are not a Christian. A Christian is not just one who is born again. A Christian is one who has submitted to the ideologies of the kingdom as the ultimate value system of your life. Hallelujah. I'd like you to believe God. Don't say I've come for miracle service before. You see, let me tell you the truth. My assignment as a man of God is not to invite you. My assignment as a man of God is to continue to grow in grace. So that the things that would not answer to me in January must answer in June. Otherwise, what is the superiority of growth? If the same thing that did not answer to me three months ago refuses to answer now i'm only maintaining my spiritual level i'm not growing there was a time when some spirits did not answer to the apostles they went to jesus asking a question and they said why couldn't we do this he said this kind there is a technology for taking this one out see let me tell you sincerely there is enough grace to wipe the tears in your eyes there is enough grace to turn the tables around. The anointing works like money. I've taught you. It can only solve the problems that are lower than it. The anointing does not generically solve every problem. No. No. You have to understand this. It's very important to know. I have, let me just steal 5-10 minutes to explain this. Look at this. This is 1,000 Naira. Look at this. And... If I give you this 1,000 Naira, it can buy a bottle of water. Is that true? It can even buy you lunch or dinner, depending on where you eat. But this cannot buy you a car. This cannot pay a child's school fees, but it is still money. So if you want to pay a child's school fees, you need more of the same thing. 
to the level that meets the demand every challenge in life has a level of grace attached to it not every grace solves every problem if every grace solves every problem then it doesn't make sense to grow in grace Acts chapter 2 they were filled with the Holy Ghost Acts chapter 4 they were filled with the Holy Ghost again to what end it says that you stretch forth your hands and that miracles, signs and wonders be wrought in the name of your holy son. There was a dimension of grace requiring a higher level of the anointing. Gehazi carried his rod, the rod of Elisha, and he came and laid it on the dead body. The body did not rise. But when the prophet came, that dead body came back to life. Every challenge is relative to the grace that confronts it. I know men of God have prayed for you. They are not fake just because you did not get the result. It is a reflection of the extent and the level of grace. And God grants the privilege of grace. And that's why as men of God we must continue to grow in grace. So that what we could not solve yesterday, we can now solve tomorrow. That is the proof of grace. Are we together now? We are going to pray tonight. It's going to be a very quick walk in this place. I trust God and I believe that in the name of the Lord, that things will so change in your life, it will surprise you. Please rise up on your feet. Lift your voice and begin to mention specifics. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Rise up on your feet and please pray. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh yeah oh yeah yeah say oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah my life around turn my life around tonight turn my ministry around turn my family around is someone praying turn things around shalabarata <laughs> katos Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to be very fast. I minister by the Spirit. And the goal is for God to solve people's problems. And deal with all the issues that are not of God. Praise the Lord. It will be very, very fast. I am not sure I may have the time to prophesy tonight. Because I want us to finish very fast. Our time is gone. But let your heart be open. There is a God in heaven. Please don't be used to your situation. If you're a visitor here and you came, come insisting that I did not leave where I left to be here only to return back with stories. Uh-uh. That is not the God that we serve. Are we together? Hallelujah. There are three people. The power of God is coming on outside. Overflow one. Please, I'd like you to bring them out here. Please, let's start very quickly. We're going to pray. Three people. The power of God is coming upon them right now. three people the power of God is coming upon them right now a very strong anointing please bring them very quickly and then and then we'll pray and then we'll pray when you have them please bring them very quickly the Lord is already moving listen let me tell you the truth I want you to believe 
believe that God will step in and turn your life around hallelujah turn your life around from the back right to the center I'm seeing the power of God come on someone now from the back right to the center from the back right to the center please bring them out right now now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty there is liberty an end comes to every oppression an end comes to every oppression an end comes to every oppression an angel of the Lord is still standing here I'm still seeing this road right now it's like smoke just moving across right now from the top to the back please bring them out an end comes God is stepping in to locate people by his spirit remember the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and it says where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty I command every oppression of darkness I want to pray now I see fire in this place this is what I'm saying by the spirit of the and listen at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus that every spirit that is other than the spirit of the Christ responsible for any challenge and any predicament it must let you go now inside and outside online are you ready father let there be deliverance right now one two three shout Jesus Jesus I cause every power bring them out right now every oppression of darkness it must go now it must go now oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Oh yeah, yeah, say. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Please bring them out quickly. I'm still praying. The Lord is showing me a vision of a padlock in the spirit. I'm seeing a padlock and I'm seeing what looks like a key about to open it at the count of three again you're going to shout that name I see opening opening doors that have been closed are you ready now one two three be open now every closed door be open now be open now be open now Close doors over families. Close doors over ministries. Close doors over destinies. I decree and declare, be open. Be open now. Bring them out, please. Be open now. Be open now. In the name of Jesus. Overflow one, two, three across the road online be free now hallelujah i'm seeing i'm seeing like stones in a vision one two three four five and i'm seeing like a strange fire these are representations of altars. Listen, there are families that have been covenanted to all kinds of ordinances. Fire is about to come from heaven right now. In the name of Jesus, you are ready to shout now. Father, every family here that is under any kind of ordinance, I come tonight with the rod of a higher priesthood. At the count of three, let fire from heaven liberate that family right now. One two three be free right now be free right now be free right now in the name of jesus 
We blot out handwritings. We blot out handwritings. Bring them out. I cause altars, yokes of darkness, ordinances, speaking against the people of God. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Hey. Oh yeah, yeah. Say. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God go to the eastern states. The eastern states. Right now God is bringing deliverance. The east, Abia, Anambra state, Enugu state, Eboi state. I'm seeing an anointing right now. Rest on people within that state. Let there be liberty right now. Let there be liberty right now. You belong to that state, the power of God is coming upon you. Right now, right now, even the lawful captives shall be delivered. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. I'm seeing the map. The east, God is bringing liberty. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the map again. I'm seeing an arrow and I'm seeing it Go to Benway, Benway State. Right now, I stretch my hands. Benway, Benway. That anointing, you are from that state. Any ordinance tying your destiny must let you go right now. Must let you go right now. This is by the authority of the kingdom. Benway State. Benway State. Liberation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. release their destinies right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah I'm seeing fire just within this circumference in front there are two families God wants to set free right now within this circumference I'm seeing fire coming upon them right now bring them out right now by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus the son of the living God things must change in your life my friend this young man lift your hands where you are there is oil being poured on your head right now right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is removing something that looks like an arrow from your head. Let it go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let him go now. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Yahweh. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. Fire is still falling here. I'm seeing this deliverance is especially for women. An entity comes to molest you in the night. You go to bed and a strange spirit just comes. Right now with the name of Jesus, the Lord is asking me to just count two. And at the count of two, that fire is coming on people right now. One, two, let that fire come now. Liberation from ordinances of darkness every stranger that comes to manipulate your destiny be free now all those in front here i decree the power that holds you i come by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three let them go now one two three go leave them now release their destinies right now let there be restoration 
everything that has been stolen from hell I command the restoration by the spirit of the living God by the spirit of grace the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty be free right now please open your mouth and begin to pray everything that must leave your life insist it must leave your life now the angel of the Lord is removing arrows. I'm seeing arrows, arrows coming out of people. That's what I'm seeing. Arrows, 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 arrows right now, right here. Arrows, arrows, go now. Arrows are being removed out of people. In the name of Jesus, Madam, be free right now. Be set free now. The Lord is setting someone free here right now. Someone in this room, I'm seeing fire just resting on someone. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, everything that has held you bound, be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. Be free right now. Be free right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Those outside keep praying. Something is resting upon you right now. The Lord asked me to come to overflow one. I want to pray for you. There is an anointing right now. I stretch my hands fire from the front to the back everyone under any kind of yoke right now as i'm passing be free be free help them please out now release their destinies release their destinies now please help them whether you are an usher or not help them that yoke must let you go now that yoke must let you go now i'm passing this road right now once I pass you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is taking everything that is not of God. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. Let that fire rest upon you right now. Everything that has refused to open, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Close doors. Be open now. Be open now. Now listen, overflow too. I may not touch you, but in the name of Jesus, I pass your role. Except God is not God. If there is anything sitting on your destiny, it must let you go. Right now, be free. Be free. I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Open up your gates. Your gates. Gates be open. Destiny be open now. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open now in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Fire is resting on this road. Just right there. I'm seeing someone, the oppression of your family is coming to an end right now. I stand by this grace. Karis Kobaru Katosh. Help her please. Anyone here? anything that is not of God sitting on your destiny right now at the count of three all of you just I'm seeing fire right now and I'm seeing chains broken from people's legs right now be be set free now be set free now be set free now be set free now there is a lady here God is saying it is over right now I'm seeing an anointing liberating a lady's family right now help them please whether you are an usher or not, please, if anybody is falling close to you so they don't injure themselves. Hallelujah. Please shift. That lady, be free now. I'm pointing my hands to her. I command that devil to leave your family and your destiny now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Overflow three. 
pray pray overflow three something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now something is about to release your destiny now overflow three i came with an anointing at the count of three shout jesus fire is falling from the top to the bottom one two three go 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 now every yoke every altar be free now bring them out whether you are an usher or not bring them out every oppression of darkness right to the back i declare by the anointing of the holy spirit be free now be free now Bring them out. I'm seeing all kinds of spirits. I command every spirit that is not of the Christ. Release God's people right now. At the count of three. I'm seeing fire resting on people. And I'm seeing a number 41. 41 people. At the count of three, shout Jesus. Are you ready? One, two. Three, shout Jesus. Right now, be free by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be free right now. Every door that has refused to open, I open that door right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are 27 people here the grace for speed is coming upon them i don't know who you are but right now the grace for speed i stand by the anointing from the front to the back right now in the name of jesus receive that anointing right now speed i release speed over your life over your destiny receive speed in the name of jesus speed in the name of jesus hallelujah overflow three hear me there are people here the lord is telling me no one rises in your family when they get to a level something brings them bow and the lord is saying i should shift you by prophecy i stand right now i don't know where they are but the anointing of the holy ghost is going to come upon you right now in the name of jesus i'm seeing the number 17 lord i don't know where they are here but in the name of jesus I declare move to the next level right now I shift you to the next level right now I shift you to the next level right now hallelujah I'm looking at 14 people here you have the call of God upon your life. And right now, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to locate you. 14 people. Lord, where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, Deborahs. Lord, where are they? Let that man to locate you now. The call of destiny that is upon you. Oh, prophet of God, may that fire find you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There are 15 people here. Overflow 3. The spirit of revelation is coming on you. Unusual insight. I don't know where they are. But right now I'm seeing light. Not fire. Light. Light coming on people. 15 people step into a new dimension of the revelatory grace right now in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord main auditorium please lift your hands main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing seven people main auditorium lift your hands I'm seeing seven people. The grace for speed. I'll pray it on everybody. But the main auditorium, there is a grace for unusual speed. 
on seven people they will begin to run by the anointing right now please hold them so they don't injure themselves main auditorium i stretch my hands at the count of three like elijah may that grace come one two three receive that grace right now in the main auditorium step into the anointing for speed in the name of jesus overflow three lift your hands every door that has refused to open over your ministry over your life held down by witchcraft in the name that is above all names at the count of three i'm seeing doors open in the spirit one two three let that door be open now be open now be open now The Lord wants to avert death over a family. This year alone, between last year and this year, four people have died in your family. Four people have died. And in the name of Jesus Christ, an anointing is coming upon you right now. Let death be averted now in the name of Jesus. Now listen, all of you at Overflow 3, and the extension there whatever must live your life as i'm passing this place please i am releasing my faith open your mouth now and declare lord it must live my life now go ahead go ahead pray please all those in front here the spirit that ties your destiny i command at the count of three let them go now one two three go 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 out of their lives out of their destinies make sure you are praying make sure you are praying the power of god is resting on someone here there's an anointing coming on someone right here in the name of jesus there's an anointing coming on someone here and the lord is saying it comes to an end that family crisis comes to an end. The power of God is resting on someone by my left here. Right now, receive that anointing. Let it go in Jesus' name. Be free right now in Jesus' name. The power of God is resting on someone here. Right here, I'm seeing an anointing. Right now. It's a prophetic grace. There's someone here, a prophetic grace is coming upon you. Right now, by my left here. In the name of Jesus, drink of that anointing. Drink of that fountain. May that grace rest upon your life. Right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord says it is over. Over right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Look at me my friend. The Lord is taking you to a height and a dimension in the spirit. I lay my hands on you. Drink of that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm seeing what looks like smoke, just this region where, I'm, where you are looking at me. Right now there are four people. I'm seeing the power of God like a wind just coming on them. Just this road right now. Lord, where are they? I stretch my hands right now. Right now, the power of the Holy Ghost is coming on those people and the Lord is saying it is over. He's taking away captivity. Four of you, by the Spirit of grace, let it be over right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there is a family here marriage does not happen in that family but I'm seeing fire rest right now the embargo is being broken now the embargo is being broken whoever those people are an anointing is coming on you now for the sake of your family that yoke of marital delay is breaking right now is breaking right now in the name of Jesus Please lift your voice and pray. Everybody, pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. There is one of you among those standing here. There is a call of God upon your life. An anointing is coming upon you. You will be mightily used by God. Where is that person? Spirit of the living God. The hand of God just near the gate here. The power of God is coming upon that person right now. A new dimension in the spirit. The eyes that see and the ears that hear. May you step into that level in the spirit. 
in the name of Jesus Christ my friend touch this gentleman for me lift your hands I stretch my hands over you I command I'm seeing chains all over your body I command those chains to give way now in the name of Jesus release him now let him go now by the power of the Holy Ghost I cut those chains I'm seeing chains from your head to your toe let me pray for those here please all of I right hear I'm the Lord is opening my eyes and from here to the fence I'm seeing snakes and I'm seeing five people there is a major deliverance that is coming for a family right now in the name of Jesus may the anointing of the Holy Spirit locate those ones now five of you right now these spirits my God my God I'm seeing something living right now release them now release no matter how long release them now it is written that even the lawful captive shall be delivered I declare emancipation now by the Spirit of the Living God. Come. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are a gala. I want to pray for you. Are you alone? If you came here alone, what do you do? I want to pray for you. The Spirit of death is upon you. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. So that those dreams you used to have seeing dead people is that true you have dreams and Too much, yes. the lord is saying that you are going to be free from it right now i declare in the name of jesus by the power of the hope in the there is there is someone here Hi. academic delay over your family is breaking right now i just please don't be carried away acting this thing i Passionately to help people experience God. I'm praying. I don't know where that family is, but now scattered in this congregation, I stretch my hands. Let the anointing of the Holy Spirit family right now. I'm seeing a family here. None of you has a job. None of you. There are even a few graduates, but nobody at all. It's like the doors of jobs don't open. Right now, you're going to sense fire come up your hands. Real physical fire. And the Lord is saying, by that, help them. By that, that embargo is broken. Lord, I, I declare right now, let the anointing of the Holy Spirit rest upon those people and bring emancipation. Everyone lift your voice and begin to pray in the Spirit. Please begin to pray in the Spirit. Don't say you are not inside. God can locate you from any direction. God can locate you from any direction. Bring me this lady, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, delay ends in your life. I stretch my hands and I pray, delay help her. The Lord is taking away witchcraft from this family. I command that devil, go now. See, it doesn't matter whether you are inside or outside. Just release your faith. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. Be free right now. My friend, the call of God is upon your life. There is, that is coming upon you. It's a healing anointing. I stretch my hands may that grace begin to work effectually now step into that grace in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now listen among all of you from here to here the grace for speed is coming on two people listen those two people will start running now please hold them hold them so they don't enjoy themselves that anointing right now all across two you can control yourself hold them please whether you are an usher, I release that grace. Speed. Two people. Strange speed. God is ending delay right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing two of you. A prophetic anointing. You are not prophets. But you have been desiring this grace. The grace to see. From here. Right to where that lady with the veil is. I don't know where they are but I stretch my hands. May that anointing find you right now. Accuracy of sight. and Help them, help them please. Help them please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. An angel of the Lord is taking away reproach. There is a family here. The Lord is saying the captivity ends now. An anointing is coming upon you right now. 
It's now. In the name of Jesus. Someone here, is it your sister has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb? Who is that? Listen, where, where is she? At home. What of you? Come. How long? Who has had three miscarriages? Three miscarriages. Go and tell her she will have a baby girl. That the Lord is giving her a baby girl. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you both. In the name of Jesus, let it come to an end right now. Let that captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, there's someone here, your family has a court court case. Who is that, please? Court case. Don't make sure you don't tell us, please. They want to kill you because of what? What did you do? What did you do? Hold on, I have to. Where are you from? Where is that? I have to pray for you. You have bad friends. Hold on. Let me talk to you. Eh? You have very bad friends. Bad friends. You need to be delivered. This is not even your whole life. Eh? You know what I'm saying, right? You need to repent. Eh? Listen. When I make an altar call, run and come. Because the real salvation is you. It's not the issue of court case of this. You, you have friends that are criminals. And we have to pray. You hear what I'm saying? God is locating you to help you. Listen, let me tell you, my dear people, let me. When God locates us like this, is because he wants to help. There's somebody here. Your name is Sarah. Where is that person? Sarah. Hold on, please. Don't, don't. Let me just prophesy. I, I, my heart is full. God wants to visit people. Stand up. Who is Sarah? Where are you from? Huh? Where are you from? No, no, we're state of origin. I want to pray for you. Who is Godia? Yeah. Godia. The Lord wants to visit you right now. Acting God truly wants to change your life. Yeah? I want to pray for you. Whose mother is in the hospital? I'm seeing someone's mother lying down in the hospital here. Your mom? Wait, come. I'm seeing that down in Port Harcourt. Port, uh, yes, I Port Harcourt. You came from Port Harcourt. Go on. I'm going to pray for you. Do I know you? I've never seen you. I want to pray for you. God is turning your situation up. Is as you are standing, let your heart be open. Your people may be far. Don't ever think I'm just because I come outside like this to encourage you to let you know that you must not make it inside. You win. Are we together? The power of God is going to come upon you a loud shout. That will be the person I'll prophesy to right now in just those outside here. It's not something you can stand. This is a sign and a wonder from the Spirit of God. That's not the shout. The shout is coming. It's a loud shout. Please bring the person when that happens. That's the shout. Bring the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, lift your hands. Jesus, come. Do you? What are you doing? What do you do? Of God, your own church. You are assisting someone. You came here not just to receive a miracle for your mother, but you came to take fire. Stand up. Why you came? Yes, sir. Listen to me. You are going to go back and you will step into a dimension of signs and wonders that will surprise you. Sarah, in the name that is above all names, every oppression over your family, I come against it right now. I'm still hearing that name, Godia. Who is that? Hold on, please. Hold on. Where are you from? Huh? You are from Kat Saminaka. 
Hold on, please. Your sister. Blood sister. Same father, same mother. You've been praying for God to locate you. It's okay. You. Hi. The spirit of death is over your family. Huh? That's what I'm saying. I'm seeing you dreaming and dreaming of dead people. They will come and they are calling you. Sometimes they are saying you should eat together. This is the spirit of death coming on the family. But in the name of Jesus, I use them as a point of contact. If there is anybody under the sound of my voice that the spirit of death is coming upon you, help her. I caught spirit now. Name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family. Money does not stay in your house. No matter what happens. Once resources enter, you love God. But resources, something must happen. Either sickness or they will steal it or something will come up. I'm seeing what looks like a blue flame. And it's resting on at least five people. And the Lord is saying an end comes to financial hardship. Father, where are they? Right now, I stretch my hands. Let that anointing locate you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your voice and begin to pray. My friend, lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. An end comes now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your voice and pray in the spirit, everyone. My dear, look at me. I command that spirit to leave you now. Of darkness must let you go in Jesus' name. Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Please pray. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit, everyone. Madam, help this woman so that she doesn't fall with it. I command everything that is not of God to let you go now. Release this woman's destiny now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oppression leaves right now. Someone here, there is a spirit that has oppressed your family. It must go now. I command that devil of darkness, help her please. That spirit must leave now. In the name of Jesus. Please everyone pray in the spirit. Everyone pray in the spirit. God is visiting us right now. One media person here. There is an anointing resting on someone. The Lord is bringing to end the captivity on your family. I'm seeing it by the spirit of God. Captivity coming to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, let it end now. By the spirit of the living God. Let it end now in the name of Jesus. My friend, I'm seeing what, what looks like a towel on you. And the Lord is wiping away infirmity. In the name of Jesus. Infirmity, let it go right now. Please make sure you are praying. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. The spirit of death there is a family here that spirit must go now the spirit of death release them now in the name of Jesus release them now release them now the spirit of death there will be no obituary I command that devil to go now madam excuse me madam look at me come Are you a man of God? Come. You too. Please come. I don't know you. Where are you coming from, sir? Where do you, what do you have to do with Adamawa? Is it Anambra? Huh? Who is from Anambra? Me. From Anambra State. You came all the way. Ah. There is a grace to see that God is going to be delivering to you. Number two, there is speed in ministry. That God, I don't know you, sir. I've not seen you. You're, you're together. You're a man of God, too. You're a man of God. You're a ministry. Can I pray for you, sir? Because I'm seeing this anointing, strange anointing come on you. You will go back and it's going to be fire all the way. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. Step into that grace in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit, you will never be the same. Can I pray for you, sir? By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, drink of this wine, you will never be the same. 
in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Mommy, let me pray for you. Hold on, please. Please stand up. Stand up. Who is Jennifer? Jennifer. 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 The Lord is visiting. The Jennifer I'm seeing, you are outside. You are holding a child. Jennifer. Jennifer. Is there someone like that? Oh, please oh, confirm. I'm, what's your name? They always confirm before you allow Jennifer, them. Sir. Jennifer. Is this your child? Yes, sir. Where are you coming from? From this is my state. Huh? From GRA. No, no. Where, where are you coming? Kaduna State. Kaduna State. Yes. I want to pray for you. So that the spirit that makes marriages to not work in your family will not catch up with you. Does Amen. it make sense what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Well, this boy has a great destiny. Forget about whatever it is that has happened or not happened. I want to pray for you. The Lord located you to bless you. What's his name? Fortune. 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 Yes, I will pray for you. Mama, where are you coming from? I came from Togo. You came from Togo? Yes, just yesterday. Just yesterday? Yes. What are you trusting God for? Oh, my daughter in America. She's the one that sent me to you. She has been seeing you in her dream. You have done so many things for her in the dream. Then she said that I must come. So that show me you will not get her. She's asking for contract. That is contract that she's seeking for. She... Just calm down, madam. You came all the way from Togo. Yes, sir. Let me tell you what God will do in your life. First, not even just your daughter. Eh? Leave your daughter's issue. God is going to bring your daughter but it's you first that back pain huh? that back pain that you have you get up in the morning and there's severe back pain that back pain will leave you now that's number one number two the dead people you see in your dream huh? sometimes you go to bed and you see dead people people who have died but they are alive talking to you I need to pray for you and then number three God is going to visit your daughter tell her the month of August is a month of breakthrough in the name of Jesus, be free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here, please? Sir? You are a teacher. Did you apply for a job? Yes. Where? Uh, uh, Dambo International. Because I'm seeing a letter and I'm seeing congratulations. It, hold on. Ah, you are a teacher. Yes, Where? With uh, KHMS. What is Dambo International? It's a school. Did you apply there? Yes. Like I'm seeing really that they are going to give you a job. Huh? I will pray for you, sir. Because this teaching you are doing is only for a while. There is a grace of entrepreneurship upon you. And that grace is going to come and God will shift you to a dimension. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. How many children do you have? One. Just one. Yes, sir. I have one no hold on don't be embarrassed eh? i'm seeing one child then the vision changes and i'm seeing two again huh you have one you have two what is the mystery explain before i married her i have a son outside okay before you married her you have a child the, yes sir. okay i want to pray don't don't make sure you treat the child with honor and grace all the children that came out from you are great children you understand please don't fight that child eh, madam you hear what i'm telling you yes i know that we live in a, a society that sometimes all kinds of troubles can come but may god grant you the grace to manage things well sir there is a grace of wealth that is upon you please look at me it looks like you are a teacher but your destiny is not a teacher you are a real kingdom financier and there is a grace for finances that should come upon you please look at me you see this woman she's a good woman don't ever let the devil use the face of any devil and use her face to make it look as if this is an evil woman and don't let any prophet anywhere tell you this woman is a witch in the name of jesus i tell you god gave you a good woman she's a good woman madam you're a good woman in the name of jesus let me pray for you sir please hold my hands in the name that is above all names i open up every closed door over your life and destiny i shift you to that realm of wealth in jesus name the person look up please the person who comes to molest you when you sleep it comes to an end now 
in the name of Jesus every fraternity with darkness is gone now and gone forever in the name of Jesus I don't know why, why are they here who is Sarah are you married we are no more together huh I have two children, but we are not together with you. You are father. not together with your husband. Yes. Were you married? No. This is what I'm saying. Come. You need to be delivered, eh? If not, I'm seeing four children. You will add two more, and yet you are not married. I'm not, I hope you are not feeling bad. I hope you are not embarrassed. God reveals so that he can redeem, eh? You are not a bad woman. You are not an immoral woman. It's a spirit. You hear what I'm saying? Come, let me pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you here. One of you standing here now. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on one right now. It's not something you can resist. I'm, this, I'm seeing it in the spirit that the power of God is going to come upon one of you. And when that happens, then I'm going to prophesy to that one person. Right now, it's an anointing from heaven that is coming upon one of you here. And the Lord is saying that he's taking away sickness from the midst of you. Taking away sickness. My dear, in the name of Jesus, is it the same man that has the children? Yes. Huh? Yes. Why doesn't he want to marry you? He didn't pay for my dowry. He didn't pay for your dowry? Yes. Go and tell him that I said he should pay for your dowry. Huh? Dowry is not building project. He should pay for your dowry and give these children a chance. Please. At this level, it's no longer about their comfort. The children need a father. May God grant him grace and give him money to pay your dowry and be a good man in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing written in the air, polygamy. God is breaking that spirit now. No, 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 just please just keep quiet. I'm ministering. There is a spirit of polygamy. Everybody in that family, you can't do with one man alone or one woman alone. That anointing is locating people right now. To break the spirit is a covenant it's not a desire coincidences continue to put themselves together to lead people to trouble right now that spirit please help them in the name of Jesus inside outside everywhere the spirit of polygamy is being broken right now the spirit of polygamy is being broken right now sir let me pray for you where are you coming from sir Port Harcourt what do you do do business you do business but things are not going well yes, huh if i don't pray for you i'm seeing you in the court because of money debt huh i hope you're not embarrassed you came here so that i pray for you what are you trusting god for i'm trusting god for breakthrough in my business breakthrough in your business first your my wife uh, has listened to your tape for about seven days now and the last dream she had you came to pray for her and she insisted that you come through the night today I will pray for you more than business breakthrough sir is your relationship with god do you understand please don't be embarrassed but your relationship with god in this kingdom we prosper as our souls prosper not at the detriment of our soul so that there's, there's too much spiritual distraction around your life i pray that god will cause your heart to love him more than money in the name of jesus and that in so doing he will bless you and lift you I decree and declare i don't know why all of you came but in the name of jesus i declare that everything that is not of god leaves you right now where is this lady from come where are you from i'm from nesera state you are from where nesera how many are you i'm from extended family we are many plenty. you are plenty yes. you don't know how many yes but oh. in my mother's side we are eight two have gone we are six now are you married no the man coming around your life I drive him from your life now and forever. Amen. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The man that I'm seeing, I drive him in the name of Jesus, the Son Amen. of the living God. You will go back and you'll be surprised. He will tell you there's no time. He cannot call you. He's busy. Just know that God drove him from your life to save you from trouble. Are you ready for a child now? Tom, you have to be careful. Huh? I send him again in the name of Jesus Christ before he destroys your innocent life. What do you do? Huh? I'm Lenny Salomon. I'm not here. I'm Lenny Salomon. 
hairdressing. Yes, sir. I'll have to pray for you. Come. Huh? I place favor on your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but the Lord is showing me a very serious vision. I'm looking at people, but I'm not seeing a face. And this is not the first time I see these kinds of vision. The moment I see these kind of things is a sign that you know the devil has just tried to tarnish the glory of people the bible says to not let your good be evil spoken of there there is a way that you are good but it's like people continue to misunderstand you right now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands i'm seeing an anointing coming on those people that veil that covers your face always putting you in trouble I tear off that veil now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. We have to be fast. Now please listen very carefully. God is touching everyone. Every single one under the sound of my voice. Three things will happen right now. Number one, make sure you are here with your prayer request. If you're not here with it, please pen down. It's an act of faith very quickly. What you're trusting God for, lift it up. Let the ushers have it. Number two, we're going to minister to the sick right now. We'll do it very, very fast. And then I'll pray on it and we'll prophesy. Open doors for everyone. We have to make this very, very fast. Are we together? While you're doing that, please be praying in the spirit. There are people here who are trusting God for themselves and their families. Please listen. Let's listen outside, inside. Let's listen to the instruction. Please. All those who are standing, trusting God for fruit of the womb, whether you are in overflow, one, two, three, I want to pray for you myself. Are we together? Particularly for those trusting God for the fruit of the womb. And, but then aside from that, um, overflow one, please listen. Listen. From the start of overflow two, that means the end of CGC, and inside here, that's overflow two. Um, overflow three is from the end of CGC down to second equa. Okay, you are overflow two B. Let's call it two B. Are we together? Then the overflow from the beginning of this fence down, right down there. We'll call you overflow two C. Please listen. Then there's overflow three. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. This is the main auditorium. This is overflow one. This is overflow two. Then from this place down to second equa is overflow two B. From that same place down is overflow two C. So that, so that you would know if you are trusting God, no matter what overflow for the fruit of the womb, I'll pray for you. But then all who are in here, overflow one, I mean overflow here, please, you're trusting God for healing. Come stand here. Overflow one, come and stand in front of your projector stand. Overflow two, stand in front of your projector stand. Overflow two A, please create a space for them there. Overflow two A, create a space for them there. And then overflow two C, stand in front of your projector stand. And then overflow three, you can stand in, um, in front of your projector stand. Those online, connect by faith and then we'll pray will pray with you we are going to do this very fast we thank god there are many hands today and while they minister to you i would like you to believe god for a miracle you are a man of god you are a ministry here open up your heart and connect you are trusting god for the grace for signs wonders make sure that you connect the worship team will be leading us through powerful sessions of worship while we do that and concurrently while that is happening please make sure you submit your prayer request everyone Make sure you pen down your prayer request and then we are going to pray on it and let the God of heaven visit us right now. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. Um, a Jimmy and Promise and Bishop Manasseh. A Jimmy and Promise and Bishop Manasseh will do overflow three. There are quite a number of people there. Overflow three. Um... Benga will do overflow two. Overflow two, Pastor Alpha and Ima. You do overflow one. Um, overflow one. 
we need a way of reaching overflow. Kenny. Kenny will do overflow 2B. Overflow 2B. We'll do overflow 2B. And then Isaac. Isaac in media. He will do overflow 2C. Let's make it that way. Praise the Lord. Father, we stand under this corporate grace. And we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that as we minister to everyone across, let your healing power touch, deliver, set free in the name of Jesus. Do this and be glorified even by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please, we'll do it very, very fast. And while you are seated, make sure you are agreeing, releasing your faith in the name of Jesus. Madam, you lift, lift your hands. You, this woman. No. The one wearing blue and white. Yes. Lift your hand. I'm seeing oil coming on your head. And the Lord is saying he's taking away reproach and he's lifting you. This is what I'm seeing. An anointing is coming on you right now. And the Lord is saying he's taking away reproach. And he's bringing an oil of gladness upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Father, let there be miracles, signs, wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's stretch your hands to the prayer request. Begin to pray in the spirit. Lord, you are the God that answers prayers. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Pray over these requests. He said, these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. There is a covenant of answered prayer in this place. Lift your voice and pray. Father, I decree and I declare. I prophesy, I proclaim by the spirit of grace that this is a representation of the pain of people, a representation of their hunger. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, are you praying? Decree and declare that everything written here in the name of Jesus will become a testimony. Everything written here, we invoke the power of the Holy Ghost upon every request here supernatural deliveries terminations of delay open doors new spiritual dimensions in the name of jesus admissions graduations jobs marriages children restoration advancement promotion in the name that is above all names we decree and declare Make sure you are praying. Make your declaration. This that I brought before the God of all flesh will never, never, never return as a disappointment. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Those online joining us from all over the world, connect in the name of Jesus. From America to Asia, the UK, Canada, everywhere, we decree and declare that your requests are turned into testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Listen. I want you to understand that this is not a ritual. This is a mystery. Are we together now? There are all kinds of testimonies that have come. I can prophesy and there is so much. I can be limited. I cannot discern everybody's expectation. But this is a representation of your hunger. It's a representation of your tears. And let me tell you this, please don't get familiar with this. This is not some, some spiritual thing just for the fun of it. There is power in what we are doing. It's guided by understanding, it's guided by an anointing. And God has a covenant, he's protected by his jealousy. In the name of Jesus, Paul said, For this cause I, Paul, bow my knees before the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, that he may grant unto you. In the name of Jesus, I declare upon you that the Egyptians you see today, that you will see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus, every request here that is a death sentence, cancer, HIV, and any kind of incurable disease, we turn it around right now in the name of Jesus. Every impossible situation represented here. May the God of wonders arise tonight in the name of Jesus and do wonders. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. For those of you who have submitted these requests on behalf of your loved ones, I declare, may the angel of God's presence, these angels that do not know time and distance, may they go to your various homes and to your loved ones and birth supernatural solutions in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare that you remain above this challenge forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare over your life, we're entering the second half of the year. It says, revive thy work, O God, in the midst of the year. I decree and declare, every spiritual weariness, every prayerlessness, it dies right now in the name of Jesus. passion for the things of the spirit like never before hunger for spiritual things in the name of Jesus I declare prayer fire like never before let it rest upon your life now I decree and declare an appetite for God and the things of God I declare you receive it right now I pray over your life every long-standing issue you have prayed you have fasted you have sought counsel it has refused to change in the name that is above all names i decree and declare by this time next month return with your testimony by this time next month return with your testimony please believe it don't just shout amen believe it I come against patterns you have seen it in others you saw it in your father you saw it in your loved ones you saw it in your siblings now it's beginning to happen by the blood of the eternal covenant I cancel every pattern now I cancel every pattern now it works for everybody until it gets to your turn then something happens you will see it but you never possess it I declare right now that spirit that makes you to see things and never step into it is caused by the God of heaven caused by the God of heaven everything that was given to you in the realm of the spirit already I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead this month coming it must enter your hands I declare that it must enter your hands there are families where is the women that feed the men have you seen such families no matter how hard working the men are they never feed the family they get up in the morning and play draft from morning till night while the women go to fend, it's an anomaly. I declare by the Spirit of God, I'm praying for the men now. The grace for establishment and the grace to be satisfied early. Receive that anointing right now. It says, satisfy me early. I'm saying it again. Everybody here who is a man, and it looks like the devil wants you to depend on people for the rest of your life. I decree and declare, like Jacob, Laban must let you go in the name of Jesus. I pray for every Mordecai here. You have been good to others. You have been good to kings. Your records have been written, but you have not been rewarded. In this season, by the Spirit of God, we open a book of remembrance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Anyone here called jobless by the God of heaven, between now and the next three months, like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom, I decree and declare jobs that will be consolations to your years of pain, may my God give it to you.
every dying business hear the word of the Lord I don't care what has happened by the spirit that raised Christ from the dead I speak to you come back to life now come back to life now everyone who is in ministry here no matter what level there are dimensions I pray for you you will go back to your various churches fellowships and assemblies and a dimension of fire a dimension of insight you have never seen receive in the name of Jesus everyone here called barren by the God of heaven in the name of Jesus according to the time of life return with your children these are not empty prophecies believe them they are backed up by the jealousy of God they will come to pass in the name of Jesus I don't know where the helpers of your destiny are but in the name of Jesus every man who must arise in this season for your sake to favor you wherever they are around this globe by the spirit of grace I call them to your life now I call them to your life now the Bible says that strangers shall feed your flock it says your gates shall be open continually it shall not be shut day nor night that you will receive the forces of the Gentiles people you do not know I compel them to be interested in your lifting in the name of Jesus Christ I prayed a prayer like this one time and one of us God just opened a door and a bank met him to sell a property for them worth 450 million naira listen it doesn't take time it doesn't take time there is the creative dimension of prophecy that can order things in your life every area of struggle i stand by the god of heaven who is called ebenezer the god of jeshuron in the name of jesus receive help from the lord I want to pray for people who have ideas and have projects but it seems to never go out of the book you have ideas you have projects it's just to connect you with somebody who has the interest nobody helps you on their own they are called by prophecy in the name of Jesus right now I connect your ideas to your helpers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I forgot to pray for those who are in various institutions writing their exams I know that many people had started their exams some have written and the honest truth is that some of you have written nonsense you need the mercy of God in the name that is above all names much more than what you have written in the name of Jesus may the mercy of God show up in your exam There is a dimension of finances that comes by prophecy. Please pay attention. Our time is gone, but I want to speak this into your life. There are people who are not very smart. The prophetic dimension is not a license to not be valuable. The prophetic dimension is a system of advantage to bridge tragedy while you learn. It's a system of God's mercy. It will be foolish to believe that wealth is only by principles. There are laws and there are irrefutable principles that make for the foundation. But there is the ordinance of prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the God who has helped me by His grace, the God who has helped this ministry, 
I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit between now and the end of July may your finances turn around in a way that will surprise you may your finances turn around in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for those who are under any kind of project building project whatever it is the hand that started that project is the same hand that must finish that project in the name of Jesus Christ everyone here due for promotion but has been kept because of the wickedness and the sentiments of men go back into your next level in the mighty name of Jesus Christ finally I want to pray for you honor is the ability to discern to celebrate and to reward a man for his uniqueness it's not enough for your value to be discerned you must live a rewarded life you will be frustrated if you do not live a rewarded life I pray for you the eyes that can perceive and can discern your value I connect you to those eyes in the name of Jesus any pit you have found yourself in I must pray this financially whatever it is you have found yourself in a situation where only God can bring you out may that God you believe in bring you out of it now in the name of Jesus finally I want to prophesy again the grace for this year's prophetic word the Lord declared that it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. Every part of that prophecy that is yet to speak in your life, by the force of right words and by the power of the, no, the name that is above all names, I declare to you, may your life experience extraordinary fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus Christ may you return with testimonies some of you this night before you get to your homes your phones you will see text messages that are full of wonders in the name of Jesus Christ father we give you all the praise we bless you because you have honored this house you have made it a place of answers you have made it a place of strange testimonies. Let everything that you have done tonight by your spirit return as testimonies. Let it not just be a ceremony. In the name of Jesus, we declare by the spirit of the Christ, testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, very quickly, I will make an altar call and then we'll take a few very important announcements and we're done. Apologize, our time is gone. You are here in this place. Please, let's minimize movement, especially outside. You are here and you are saying, Apostle, I've not given my heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. I need to encounter his salvation and his mercy. Please listen. Or you are here, you are saying, Man of God, I've seen the wonders. I once gave my heart to the Lord. But as it is right now, I need mercy. I need grace. I need to start afresh. You are here inside overflow one two three and all the other annexes i want to give you five minutes you want to make it right with jesus wherever you are i want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand right here it'll be my joy to lead you to jesus christ don't wait for someone be the first i'll count one to five wherever you are please start running clear the way for them please outside one quickly quickly please if you're coming run quickly run to jesus two Win that war today, win that war today, win that war today. The Bible says, in the day that you hear his voice, do not harden your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Three, someone is still coming. Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm born again or not. Join them very quickly. Join them very quickly. I expect people to come from outside. Please clear the way for those coming from outside. Clear the way for those coming from outside. Overflow one, two, three. 
If you're coming, don't be sluggish. Run very quickly. We're out of time. Run quickly. Run quickly. We're out of time. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm ashamed and afraid of my colleagues and contemporaries. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Come quickly. Give them a big God bless you whilst they come. Takes a lot of courage, but win that war. Young and old, run to Jesus. The Bible says, ye must be born again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to salute all of you. Thank you so much for coming to make this decision. Lift your right hand high to heaven and say this after me. You're not reciting a poem. This is from the depth of your heart. Jesus is here. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you, that you are the Son of God. I have seen your wonders, and I declare that I need you. This night, I declare that you are my Lord, you are my Savior, you are my King. I receive your life, I receive the abundance of grace. And the gift of righteousness and I declare that I reign in life I am a child of God I'm changed forever amen keep your hands lifted Jesus I present to you the ones you died for I thank you because when you hung on that cross they were worth your blood they were worth the tears they were worth the death I pray in the name of Jesus according to scripture your sins are forgiven and the grace to walk in victory is released upon you right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare forever you go from glory to glory even by the Spirit of God. Everything that is not of God, I come against it right now. The grace to live victorious is released upon you. From today, you go forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I congratulate you. I salute you very quickly hello scriptures exalt us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.